So you're working in Fusion 360, you have multiple components, and you're trying to get things to line up. And maybe you're using the move command, and you're trying to select a whole component or a whole body and move it around correctly. And you're guessing at how do you get this stuff to line up. Well, there's a great way to do this. Hey, Tyler back with Tech and Espresso. There's this command that I want you to know about. And it's when you're, especially when you're working with multiple components or bodies, and it's called the align command. So I drag this thing out and I'm all messed up. This is an enclosure that I was designing to go around my Maker Gear 3D printer. All right, so I want to make sure it fits. And what I'm going to use, do a search, type in align. And what we're going to do is this whole component, we're going to align it. And we're going to align this face with this face. We'll hit OK. Right click, repeat. And now I can align these bottom feet with this face. You can see it accepts it. Right click, repeat, align. Finally, this one. To this one and there we go so let's go back a step and look at one more option that i kind of clicked over when i'm doing the align with this whole component from this face to this face there's an option and the option is to capture position and what this does is this is the option to put this align step down in the timeline and the history we hit ok now, now this is captured, and when it's captured, that means that we can edit or suppress and adjust that particular feature. So, so if I click the move or the align, I can then re-choose what was selected, make edits, suppress it, update it, however we need to. Keep in mind that this is different than using joints. This is not permanent, it's just a way to get things aligned how we want them. Hey, be sure to check out this mistakes video I made for you, stuff to avoid when you're sketching, and this other video that YouTube thinks will be helpful. I'll see you in the next one.